Welcome biology students. This is just a quick video to help you with your 2.10 online gene expression lab. So if we go to course activities and we go to lessons and we go to module two and scroll down, we go all the way, we can go right to the online lab assignment. And notice that it's 45 points here. We're looking at gene expression. This is where you're gonna find your worksheet. So you can click on that and then print that up if you want and follow along as you go through the lab itself. And then at the bottom of this actual lab is a PDF of lab instructions. So this is the actual online lab that you're going through. And then this is a PDF that you can print off again to help you follow what the actual instructions are. So there it is, okay? And there's um, three parts to this lab. And as you go through these parts, it's gonna tell you to observe what's happening and that's gonna help you to fill out your worksheet that you printed up before. Okay, so going to the first part of the lab, and you can see that these instructions are down here too, part one, part two, and part three. And you're just kind of telling you to fool around with this and just try and figure out what works and what doesn't. So you bring different things over and you see what happens. Not much. What happens if we bring the positive transcription factor here? It's telling, it'll tell you all these different steps. Oh, look at that. Okay, so um, that's transcribing the information from the DNA. And then you have this messenger RNA that was that that you have here, and you bring the R ribosomes over and it translates that into a particular protein. Okay, there we go. Um, Remember messenger RNA, we learned a lot about that very recently with COVID vaccines. They were, they were the first vaccines that were made and very, very effective. So they were using messenger RNA um, to help your body fight off the infection. Okay, so then we also have mRNA destroyers, what's happening there, there you go. And that's just an example of what you're gonna see and notice. Then we go to the next gene, which is part two. You're, you're gonna try and do the same thing, see what happens. You got your positive transcription factor. Oh, it's not happening still. So maybe you need both of them. Notice for this gene, there's actually two positive transcription factors. Oh, there we go, it's working now. And then you add your ribosome and then it's going to translate that and make a different protein pop that over there. Okay, so that's for part two. And then if we go to um, this last part three is looking at concentration, affinity, and affinity for positive transcription and RNA polymerase. So starting out, let's put this to low, um, affinity to low, affinity, sorry, affinity to low here and high concentration. So a lot of these um, pull it positive transcription factors, if we remember, and we observe what happens. Now, what happens if we say that the polymerase is gonna have a strong affinity? That means it's gonna stick to the DNA molecule. So there's a lot of the positive transcription factor and there is an affinity for the DNA molecule for the RNA polymerase. Let's see what happens if we have an high affinity for the positive transcription factor. Oh, look it, now it's working. So when it actually sticks to the molecule, that's when it seems to work. Now, what happens if we have a negative transcription factor? Um, we move these, we start to introduce them and there's more of them. Does it have any impact? What about this? Does this have any impact? And finally, um, what happens if we lower this? Oh, now that works. Okay, so anyhow, you're gonna go through this and then you're going to fill out your worksheet with all the questions. Good luck.